What's up guys, Full FIFA back again with another video and today we will be looking at what cards you need to invest in right now to make yourself some coins. But before we get into this, remember to leave a like and subscribe. So last week when I was looking into the games for marquee matchup predictions that I do every week, I did notice Champions League group stages do start on Tuesday. And every year on FIFA, they do do match day marquee matchups for the Champions League games. And almost every SBC requires a higher rated uh, team and also a UCL common or a UCL rare player. So I have seen there's has been four players leaked onto the market that are UCL cards such as this right back and then we got this goalkeeper right here. And there are two, there's only four of these cards. There's two commons and two rares. So this pretty much confirms that there will be marquee matchups. Because sometimes the rewards were these cards that you could pick, get. So that's what we're going to be investing in today. On the screen right now you can see what teams are playing. And then I, I personally have picked up three cards from every team just in case they do decide to do that team. And I picked up the highest rated I could because these teams usually really did have high chemistry and high uh, rating. For the SBC, as you can see on the screen right now, I'll put up a picture of like one of the old SBCs. And they did require one to two cards from every team that was chosen. So I did lay out a chart right now of what teams are my top rated for that could be in the SBCs. And then we have the two wild cards in the bottom. So the four teams I recommend, as always, pick up 650 to 700 coin gold rare cards and pick 300 to 350 coin non-rare golds as an investment so there's almost zero risk for your investment. So the first game that I chose was between Bayern Munich and Atletico Madrid. So these cards, I, I did pick up four cards from this team, from uh, Atletico and from Bayern. I picked up rare cards that were decently high rating just like Javier Martinez right now, he is going for nothing. He's 650 coins, so you guys can pick these up easy on this market. There's no there's no competition for this guy. It was super easy. Even with uh, Atletico Madrid players, same thing. There's not that much competition on these cards. You can you can get them pretty easily, just like this Diego Costa I picked up. And I picked up this right back. Also did pick up Vitolo, just in case they do do something with the left wing position. But UG always safe picking up a striker and a center mid or a right back. And then the second team we do have is PSG versus Manchester United. So these this is probably the biggest game uh, that's going to be in the group stages apart from Atletico and Bayern. So again, 650 coins. I picked up Nemanja Matic and I did pick up one Henderson and I did pick up McTominay. Those were my three players I did pick up from this team and then also with PSG. PSG I did pick up some non-rares as well just in case they do do something with it but I did pick up Di Diallo I think his name is as a center back from them right here and I did pick up Pardes. So these are the two ones that were the super cheap ones. I think Rafinha is going for 650 coins right now as well. He's an, also a great option. So third we got Chelsea versus Sevilla. So again, another big, another two big teams versing each other. So again, you can pick up Abraham. I picked up Mount. I picked up Moses for 650 coins. So that's like you're only losing about 50 coins, not even 50 coins. It's around 48 or so. If you do decide to discard those cards and if they do not get into the SBC. But I have noticed that if you do list those cards up, even if, if they weren't in the SBCs, you can still sell them for 850 coins to uh, make some coins that way so with Sevilla I did pick up this goalkeeper and I picked up this CDM and this right wing right here so this right wing for 700 coins is a great option right now this is a card that I highly recommend you picking up and this goalkeeper those were my and then lastly we got Dortmund versus Lazio so Lazio I did pick up cards from again every team I did pick up cards so you want to pick up the rare cards, in my opinion. The rare cards are going to be worth the most, probably. So I picked up this CDM, and then I picked up this striker. That's all I did. For that team, I did not invest in any other cards, because when I did invest two days ago, so prices were different. They were actually a little bit higher in price, but now, now it's been dropping recently, the market. So 
Again, you can pick up Delaney's and you can try and get Munir for 650. Um, I did pick up a couple of Delaney's for um, 700 coins, which is an awesome deal. I do recommend, again, going with the higher rated cards. And then we got our wild cards of Shaq, uh, Shaktur and Juventus. So this is an oddball team with uh, Shaktur in there. Shaktar, sorry. And then I did pick up again. I picked up Ramsey. I did pick up Bernadeshi's. I did pick up Ben. I don't even know how you say this guy's name, but I did pick him up as well. So again, for discard, I think this team could get into it if EA wanted to make like usually with the marquee matchups they do two big leagues and they do two smaller leagues if they decide uh two smaller leagues right so if they do decide to do this with um these guys as well it might be an option just picking up those cards just in case and then we got liverpool versus ix so marlos for uh Schachter is a really good option again then we got liverpool versus ix again this is a pretty big um matchup because ix is getting pretty good now so this might be an option as well if you do want to pick these guys up for 650 coins i couldn't find any really high rated like just like these two milner and uh shakir shakiri sorry so we're the only ones that i did pick up and then from ix i was able to pick up a bunch of those um bunch of low rated cards that were rare let's go to ix so I was able to pick up a bunch of these guys that were low rated and rare. So you guys can pick up this left wing. I did pick up a bunch of these camps. Again, these prices were higher when I did invest. So these cards were going for, I, I don't know why they were selling for a little bit more. But right now it's a really good time to invest. Even with proms, I say buy proms if you guys can for 700, 700 coins. So I'm going to put bids on him if I can. No, I think he's already, yeah, he's already got bid on. But if you guys do decide to pick up these cards make sure you hold until the marquee matchups and you sell immediately uh, if they do come up when they do come out so i also did take a risk and pick up these ucl cards i did pick up some because last year they did require some sometimes in the sbc solutions so you needed at least like one common or two commons or sometimes it was only rares that were needed so i did pick up these cards and they, were, they are quite expensive, but if you do take some time and you do um, you do bid or you do snipe them, like this UCL rare card, when I did buy him, he was only a K, so he's already gone up 600 coins. I think people are getting onto it. But yeah, but this is pretty risky, so if you do have the coins and you do want to take the risk, you guys can invest in these because these will probably go up because I remember last year they used to rise every time these SBCs came out. And they rose a pretty significant amount. They rose to around like 3k each. So that's that's pretty good. You're going to be over tripling your coins on these cards. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.